So we probably just went a little overboard by literally clearing out the entire 7-Eleven. I love when they give you a hint that it's the wall. That's nice, it's the wall, but where in the wall? Most cheapest, yummiest food in the world. I agree. You come to the place and it's not as it used to be. <laughs> Look at all these crazy flavors of okay. Lay's. These are all Lay's potato chips. I am not joking. Yeah. Traveling the world on an endless adventure, we set out on our journey. As a family of four, we look to explore other cultures, food, music, life, and whatever comes our way. We aspire to find the beauty and humanity of the world while being able to share a little with others. Come follow our journey. We are Jason, Lenka, Alex, and Mia. We are the family on the run. So we missed the last train in the morning. Basically, we came back. I think, I literally think we must have missed the last train by probably, I don't know, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. So we went to the 7-Eleven, picked up every snack on earth. This one only costs 10 and this one only costs 20. Ooh, that's good, huh? Look at these flavors. Lamb flavor, king crab flavor, seaweed flavor, something crab flavor, Asian hot pot flavor. Look at all these crazy flavors of Lay's. These are all Lay's potato chips. I love it. You want Asian hot pot yeah. flavor? How do I know? When he's not eating soup, he's eating soup flavored chips. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, man. Look, we just bought the whole store. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough snacks? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we probably just went a little overboard by literally clearing out the entire 7-Eleven. I mean, it is true that we have about a two hour train ride on our ride up and then we're going to be there for a few hours and then I think it's another two hours coming back. So with that being said, we need a lot of snacks today. We are at the Central train station in Bangkok and we are going to one of my favorite places in the world. It's called Ayutthaya. It's a complex of several temples and it's a beautiful spiritual place. But right now we are waiting for a train. We bought third class tickets and we're just wondering if we will actually be able to find a seat because it's going to be probably really busy. So let's go see. We just boarded the train and we should be leaving soon. I gotta say, I'm so excited to try the seaweed flavored chips that I can't wait any longer, so I'm gonna open them even before we leave. There's nothing better than shrimpy chips. These things. What are your favorite, Lenka? Okay, since one of Alex's favorite foods in the world is Asian style hot pot soups, of course he had to buy Lay's, which literally is that flavor. So we don't have those in the States. Well, I haven't seen them in Europe either. So Alex, we're gonna try them out. It tastes like spicy veggies like cucumbers and like peppers. And I also put like some beef or something in it. This train ride takes about an hour and a half and it costs about 50 bahts for all of us, which is roughly one and a half dollars. So can you imagine about 40 cents we are taking this ride? It's actually pretty comfortable. It's not bad at all. It's a third class, but you know, we have the fan right here. We can look out of the window. You can be this price. and we were lucky enough uh, there are already tuk-tuks waiting for you there we just booked a three-hour tour to go visit the, most of the temples and we are super excited so 
Welcome to Ayutthaya. This place is a complex of many temples. And we will try to see most of them today. So Ayutthaya is approximately 50 miles away from Bangkok. And as you saw, you can just take a train or hire a taxi, but it was founded in 1350 and it was strategically located on an island surrounded by three rivers to prevent it from being attacked. Unfortunately, in 1767, the Burmese army came and burned the whole city to the ground. Today, it remains an amazing archeological site. Almost all the Buddhas here were beheaded by the Burmese and they did it for the reason because they wanted to break the Thai spirit since Buddhists believe that the human soul lies in the mind. So you will not see many ancient statues of Buddhas with their heads on here anymore. So what are you about to see is one of the most unique Buddha statues in the world. You are about to see a head of a Buddha that was entangled in a tree and they really don't know how it actually got here. The tree basically grew its roots around it. Yeah, and of course once we get up to there, this is kind of considered a sacred spot. So we won't be able to talk on camera, but we will at least shoot it and show you guys how cool this is. Do you like these ones? Yes, I do. What shape do they remind you of? They remind me of bells. Yeah, they wow. do have a bell shape, don't they? Yeah. Supposedly on the map, there's a geocache not too far from here. I'm going to find it first. No, okay. I am. No, we're not. But well, where is it on the map? All right, guys, the hint is wall. Map says we're super close, guys. That's all I can Maybe tell you. Here. I love when they give you a hint that it's the wall. That's nice, it's the wall, but where in the wall? Just try all the little, okay, okay. all the little nooks and crannies. Yeah. You know, it's got to be somewhere. Maybe, maybe move some rocks around. That's my guess. What about these rocks right here? Nah. Come on, Try guys. We can do it. Uh, we can do it. We can do it. Down here. Hold on. Try to move. What about this big one? Try here, guys. Anything in there? Is that it? Nothing no. in there. Uh, there's one oh. rock. What? I found got it. it. Oh, oh wow. what is it? Hey, we found a Buddha. We oh found my a God, yes. Yes. Show me. That is the cutest little thing. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, what do we do? Oh, wow. Put it back. Put it back the way we found it for the next back. people. Yes. That is really cool to find a, a little statue of Buddha in Ayutthaya. Okay, guys, good job finding Geocache. Woo! And woohoo! <laughs> What we really like about this place is the energy. It's so peaceful and so calm. And it's really hard to imagine how it used to be. In ancient time, this must have been such an amazing place. I don't know what is happening with the time, but we are already two temple complexes down and we have, I think, two or three more. Yeah, I gotta say though, honestly, the heat, the heat here, it just takes everything out of you. I mean, it's just like, you just try to get so fired up, but you just all of a sudden, you're just like you're completely drained with all the, the hot temperatures. So I have to say, this is a place that I have been hearing about a lot from Lenka for many years because it is one of my favorite places in the world. I don't know what this place did to me uh, those many years ago, but I felt something special. You know when you travel and you just feel the energy, then you think about it for many, 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 many years. And I'm finally here <laughs> and it feels surreal to be honest. I have to say this place is pretty amazing. Um, if you've ever watched any movies, especially ones like Mortal Kombat and those what type of ones that use kind of like that like exotic, like let's say Southeast Asian style, They've shot a lot of those movies actually right in this location. So there's a reason why Hollywood has chosen to use this place as a movie set because it is pretty dramatic and it's pretty remarkable. So one of the things I can say is we've actually been to this temple 13 years ago, right? Yeah. And the last time we were here, there were no signs saying you can't climb up. So naturally we did. Maybe we could have gotten in trouble for that, I don't know. But that's not the point. The point was is that these stairs are so insanely steep. They're more than a 45 degree gradient. Yeah. 
it's it's literally it's like climbing up to heaven and yeah when you climb up it's actually it's still a little scary but the worst part is when you climb down because you are literally looking straight down yeah and to go up the stairs you pretty much have to go on fours yeah. like hand, like hands and knees it's kind of insane but this is a little we'll try to show it to you and, and so you can see what it's like We okay. were just walking around here, and I know Lenka was really looking forward to coming to this place, but I'm not so convinced that she's excited that she did. You know, when you have this special place, this magical place, and you think of it, you go back to it in your memory all the time, and your brain uh, tends to kind of over-fantasize it. You know, it's, it changes kind of the reality. So you don't quite remember how it actually used to be. And then you come to the place, and it's not as it used to be. <laughs> Or maybe it was, but just not how you remember it. Yes, but you know, a few things has changed here. Um, the energy is still the same though. We want to ask you, what do you think? What's your opinion? Would you want to go back to the place that meant for you a lot? That it was something really special? Or would you just keep it in your memory forever and just leave it there? Yeah, in other words, do you think it's a good idea and take the risk of going back to a place and ruining possibly that special memory? Or is it a good idea to go back? Because I'm not so sure either please we'd love to hear your guys' opinions leave a comment below because i think this is a really interesting question for all travelers and anyone who's been anywhere This is our last temple and this temple is very special in the sense that they have so many statues with Buddhas and this is the only temple I think that they have uh, the actual statue with a head on. When you come to Ayutthaya, it's really hard to pick which temples you want to see versus ones that you don't want to see because they're all actually really amazing and they're all really different. So, you know, I think the point is, is when you come here, just hire the tour guides, the tuk-tuk guys, just pay them for multi-hours and just let them take you to all of them because you're going to be really impressed and it's really amazing. I mean, we love this place, right? right? Well, you don't have to tell me how much I love this place. This is one of my favorite places in the world. but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful here. It's so serene and just so peaceful. Wow, that smells so good. Yeah. Wow, yeah. the smell is so good. Yeah. I give her a fun. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's a kapunka. Oh, the monkey is getting yeah. them. Oh, wow. Oh. Sawadika. Sawadika. So this monk is basically pulling these flowers down from up here. Yes. And Lenka, how would you describe that? Oh, that, that smell, it smells divine. It's so strong. It smells like a pineapple, mango, oh, passion wow. fruit. <laughs> It's incredible. It's a Thai flower and the smell is incredible. It's the essence of like tropical. Mm, yes. Take it, Alexi. What do you say? Say kumkumka. 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 It smells like bananas. Like it smells like the um, scented markers. I think I think we should call it better than bananas. Yes. It's, it's like a better than bananas. It's like a mix. It's almost like a tropical yeah. banana cocktail. I cannot, I just want to eat it. Right? <laughs> gotta say that was really kind of them. I mean, we're just obviously a bunch of complete strangers. They know we're tourists. And for them to just basically pick those and give those to us. And that's really just about it. it was really sweet of them to do that. Now our tour of Ayutthaya is coming to the end. We have a train in one hour. So we will be just enjoying some time here. Maybe we will go eat something. But we are so happy that we made it back after so many years. Our nice drivers, they uh, 
uh, they just stopped and bought us this gift. We don't know what it is, we will try it. Um, and these, they look like a green pancakes or something like that. So we can't wait to try it. So sweet of them. Let's try. It's really good. Oh wow. It's so simple and light, but it's got lots of flavors at the same time. It's like a pistachio. Chipotle. Wow. <laughs> That's so cute. We found a stand with um, marinated chicken, so we're gonna buy some because we are pretty hungry. You were right. Let's just see what one and a half dollar can buy in Thailand. I don't know how many pieces, I think like 10 pieces of chicken and uh, barbecue sauce and... This is my chicken satay. Mm, that looks yeah. good, I gotta say. Oh, yeah. Tastes really bad, guys. Really bad. Mm -hmm. Really good. Um, That's easily one of the best dollar and a halfs I've ever spent in my entire life. And top ten most cheapest, yummiest food in the world. I agree. Food. So Alex and Mia put so much chili in their soups, it's red, just like the way the locals eat it, right guys? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, I just tried their broth a little bit. Wow. That's like easily one of the best broths I've had for soups in my entire life. No way you can ever describe how rich and deep those kind of meaty tones are with all the spices mixed into it. I mean, it's just, this is something you can't find in other parts of the world and only here. And that right there, lights out. I will give that easily a straight 10 out of 10. It is exactly what it's supposed to be. And I don't give 10s often. I like it has a five of each row. Like seven rows and it was five of each row. So Lenka just opened the other mystery bag of stuff that we don't really know what it is. This is what we've got from the lady uh, who was a driver in Ayutthaya. And it looks kind of like straw. a straw. Looks like straw. The texture really is a straw. And then you put it in your mouth. And it melts. It melts. It's like a cotton candy. That's why you always have to try. Oh God, well done. It's like a slightly less sweet, it's still sweet, but a slightly less sweet cotton candy with a little bit of a nutty and caramel texture and tone. That's, it's actually in some ways better than traditional cotton candy, in my opinion. 